Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Grinstead, author of the book Freedom from Suffering, A Journey of Hope, and developer of the Addiction-Free Pain Management System. Today, I want to talk about a concept called the inner saboteur. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever wanted to accomplish something really exciting and positive, and the only reason it didn't happen was because you got in your own way? I know I have, many times. Now, when someone's living with chronic pain, the inner saboteur can be a deadly enemy, or learning to identify and manage the inner saboteur can be a good friend. That inner saboteur is that part of us that's the immune system of the mind. Part of the immune system of the mind is the psychological defense network called denial. So another word for the inner saboteur is denial. But this psychological defense mechanism often gets a bad rap because most people don't understand that sometimes we really need some of these defenses to protect our mind, to protect ourselves. Think for a minute. If you had to constantly be in touch with every painful thing that ever happened to you in your life, where would you be? Typically when I answer, you know, ask this type of question when I'm doing teaching on this, many of the participants will say, I'll probably be dead or I'll be in a locked unit or something like that. Sometimes denial or the inner saboteur can be a really good friend and sometimes it can be a mortal enemy. And one of the things I know is that when I started working with relapse prevention for people with chronic pain, I had to first of all start, the first stage of relapse prevention is identifying and managing denial. So to do that, I teamed up with Terry Gorski and Dr. Jennifer Corey to write a workbook, the Denial Management Counseling Workbook for Effective Pain Management. In this workbook, it talks about the different 12 faces of denial that people living with chronic pain can have trying to protect their mind. Unfortunately, at first it usually helps, so that feeds the necessity to keep it going because at one point it worked or we wouldn't do it. For many people though living with chronic pain, when they have some of these defenses kick in that tell them they don't have a problem when they really do, they end up suffering. And I believe that freedom from suffering is everyone's right, but it's also a responsibility. And the first step of a responsibility and accountability is to learn about the blind sides, those parts of us that can sabotage us despite our best intentions. So please check this out. If you're watching this on YouTube, please go and read the remainder of my professional blog on this topic at the link below. To learn more about the book, go to the second link and check it out. And you can even order it from the second link. And remember again, please, freedom from suffering can be your right, but it is also your responsibility. Thanks.